So as a real estate agent, obviously you probably think my job is to help you buy and sell your house. For sure. But a lot of times that's not really what clients need for a long stretch of time. So what else can I help with? Uh, one of the things I really like is working around my house to get a little more out of it. I was working last year to redo my office, but didn't cope with 2021 as well as I was hoping to. But that's another story. So I added on my project list to get the office put back together, put cabinets and storage and get everything cleaned up so it doesn't look like it currently does. So hopefully that's gonna happen this year. Anyway, part of my sales pitch for real estate is to help you find a house you love, sell when you don't, or just love where you live just a little bit more. And part of the loving where you live is maybe you don't need to move. Maybe you like just where you're at, but maybe the house isn't exactly what you're looking for. So there's always a little bit of room for improvement. That's the case here. I've pretty much lived in this house since 1993. Grew up here, mom and dad built this house when we moved here back then um, from Columbus to get out into the country. And really thankful that that happened. But it's time for some updates. So one of the ways I wanna connect with you guys this year is by sharing the projects I'm working on in my house and getting to know what you guys are into on your projects to love where you live just a little bit more if that doesn't happen to be buying or selling a house. <clears throat> home, home renovations, improvement, little tricks and hacks or whatever you wanna call them to get a little more out of your house. So here's the longer than I'm able to do list uh, for 2021, sorry, 2022 that I'm hoping to get taken care of to help improve where I'm at. Let's go take a look. First, I'd really love to take care of this office like I did this last year. But as they say, happy wife, happy life. So I should probably focus on projects like moving the washer and dryer from here in this somewhat cramped space upstairs to right here or maybe right here, we're not really sure. Or are we doing the master bedroom? And I'm about two years overdue on replacing this for my wife and making a circular fancy table here with benches and all that. Put all my plants up there. Replacing this large shelving unit that piles up junk and making a coffee bar. Another one of mine would be cleaning up this garage. I don't think it's been painted in the last 20, 30 years. I'm not really sure. But moving these shelves over on that side so my wife can have a better place to park and more room. Updating the landscaping. And my personal happy space is my shop. My woodworking shop. And right now storage for all kinds of stuff and all kinds of messes and random projects. But at the end of the day, this is what I really love here. Um, other than nature and all that stuff that's outside. But this is really where I like to come. This is kind of my sanctuary. Um, but as you can see, it's not very well organized. There's stuff everywhere. So I've got projects in place to put it together. And anyway, make it a little more usable. Uh, hopefully a lot more usable and uh, something I love even more. Um, but at the end of the day, sometimes loving where you live doesn't include making a move. Sometimes that just doesn't make sense, so you don't want to. Uh, and there's always the opportunity to improve where you're at. There are a lot of different ways to do that. That's just a few of what I plan to do this year or hope to get to. That's a longer list than I can accomplish like normal. But hopefully some of these will get done um, and we can connect on what you're working on and share what I'm working on. So until next time, take care.